Yahoo. Fialho versus Salakha, man. I just like both these guys so much. Fialho's sick as hell. Salakov, dude, I wish we got to see him in the UFC in his prime because, I mean, he was out in Asia just fucking destroying Close masters. 200 kickboxing matches? Dude, he's just so good. And, like, his style is... There's guys like Glover to share, right? Where it's, like, the ducking overhand, which I'm going to use to get the clinch. And, like, I'll grind you down. Like, it's the overhand. Olenek did the same thing. Salikov is the same exact thing. You throw a kick at him, he'll catch it and dump you and then just let you get back up because he's not a, he doesn't want to wrestle. He wants to throw wheel kicks. He wants to throw spinning back kicks. Just and he just he'll do that. So he'll, he'll he's a counter striker mostly, but in this one it seemed like he he uh Fialho maybe gassed out at the end of the first round or after that first mm-hmm. round and it kind of forced Salikov to push the pace a little bit more. But but the the Salikov tricks were all over this fight. Everything he does, all his tendencies, they're all over this fight, and it's so fun to watch. And it's Fialho a lot of fun it. to watch. You know who he reminds me of a little bit is Edson Barbosa in the sense that he doesn't telegraph his kicks very oh. much. They're well, you know so why? Quick, man. It's because he does this thing where he'll uh, like he'll come in, and you'll see him do it over and over and over. He's got three weapons. He goes, he goes shoulder faint and hop back, shoulder faint, hop back, and you either bite on the faint, and if you bite, as soon as he hops back, he's ready to throw the leg kick. And he'll kick, mm. he'll kick your leg because you bite on the faint. And you're like, oh, what's he doing? And your legs, you, you planted. So now he'll, he'll leg kick you. Or he'll shoulder faint and he'll scoot back. And then you come in. You're like, oh, he's coming back. I'm going to go for it. And then he's ready for that. So he just hits you with the check hook or the, or the straight as you come in. Or he'll shoulder faint, hop back. And as he hops, he hops where his feet are aligned towards you like this. Not, not like this, right? Where they're like straight at you. And then he can spin off that. So he sets it up. The telegraph is his hop back, not not the setup of the feet, because he yeah. he's sets it up as he's, he's so moving quick, backwards. Man. God damn, what is he like forty years old and he's still snapping that kick at people? So I don't know how old watch. he is, man, but he he looked fantastic in there. Uh, Fialo, the first round looked pretty good too, and then uh, the thing the that I like about Fialo. Fialo is that he was circling away from that spinning heel kick mm-hmm. the first round, and then yeah. he got caught a couple times. <laughs> And I don't know what happened, man. Something must have caught him where he, he, he was done. Like, he wasn't there, it seemed like, the second round. I think he was And he was waiting. Man. But it almost seemed like he was waiting for the next trick shot, the next spinning heel kick. He was waiting for the next thing for him to try to avoid it, but mm-hmm. he was just planted. Well, because that's, that's what happens, right? When you, ha- you, when you face a guy who wants you to come in, and you're a guy like Fialho who – that's his style. He wants to come forward and throw straight shots at you, but he doesn't kick. He only throws his hands. Uh, he doesn't have crazy head movement. So every time he comes in, Salikov knows what he can do. You know, he's got more tools for that situation than Fialho does. And so if you, if that's what you do, and you're like, this is my bread and butter. I come in, I land these straight shots. People can't take the power. But then every time you come in, you get leg kicked, you get checked, you get hit with a spinning heel kick to the body, all these things. Now it's like, what do I do? I don't have a yep. kicking game. I'm not a wrestler. I come forward and throw my punches, but every time I do that, he's punishing me. So now I don't know what to do. And that's where Salikov was able to kind of run away with this one. Kind of a scary yeah, stoppage, too, honestly. And and a very good stoppage. Yeah, I thought yeah, so. You know, because uh he was just gonna continue taking damage. Uh he he's too tough for his own good, man. I mean, that's second round. I'm looking at the numbers right now. I know I was like, oh, I'll never talk. I'll never use the numbers to justify scorecards. But uh, that second round, um, 50 total strikes for Salikov to seven of uh, Fialho. That's tough. And when you're yeah. already tired and, and you're you're frozen and you're getting caught every time you come in, and then now all of a sudden he's coming forward and catching you, and then you have another round of that and you're already hurt, what do you do? And he kind of just went up against the fence and just was like, what can I do? And then Salikov just kind of teed off on him. When he hit him with that spinning, that turning sidekick to the body and Again. he kind of squatted. And then he hit him on the jaw. Yeah. After that, yeah. oh, rough, man. Nasty. Good stoppage. Very good stoppage. It sucks to see Fialho lose. I hope he takes some time off. I think he kind of bit off more than he could chew when mm. he came came into the UFC because he fought like, what, like five times in a year. And we just kind of chill for a bit and like, Recover in between fights and and game plan some things. Start throwing kicks. See some kicks, yeah, you I know? Mean, <laughs> he came in, and right away, it's like, here's uh, Michelle Pe- Pejeda. Like, yeah. Right away. And it's I mean, like, he, oh, here's Baeza. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, come on. Yeah, and then Jake Matthews had like a like a insane fight against him. Jake Matthews yep. is super underrated, I think. But um, yeah, just chill. I mean, you look at that. Michelle Pajeda was January of this year. That that was all this year. He fought Pajeda, Baeza, Van Camp, Matthews, and now Salikov all in one year. My guy's trying first to get year. paid, you know. In his first year, like just chill, dude. Like you don't. There's there's an opportunity. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, you got time. it's an opportunity. <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, uh, I'm sure we'll see Andre Fiel probably next month. Who knows? We'll see. I hope again. not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Are uh, you ready to move on to the next one? Shout out to uh, yeah. by the way. He says, uh, "I believe that's Forza Portugal, huh?" Yeah, forward Portugal. Oh, very nice. Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.